What's going on you guys, Comic Surface on a great day, and today is the day I'm going to be doing a best class setup for the S6 Stingray Tactical Rifle. Now, if you guys don't know what the S6 Stingray Tactical Rifle is, it is a two-burst tactical rifle. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's a, really a two-burst tactical rifle, and there's one thing that might be wrong with this weapon is that is the operator mod. There is an operator mod that will literally explode your enemy on impact, and it is super overpowerful. It is just completely unfair and you know this best class setup is just for the base weapon only if you guys want to see you know the operator mod best class setup i will have you know a video already you know made and all that all you gotta do is just reach probably eight likes on this video and then i will release it continuing on to the best class setup for the s16 ray but Today is going to be the base variant of the weapon, so we just have the basic S6 thing, right? No impulse, you know, explosions, no, you know, dead impact, no, you know, obnoxiously annoying operator mod, just the base weapon itself. So I'm going to give you guys a basic rundown on what attachments I use and why, and why this is probably the best setup overall if you guys want to be a running gun type COD player. But starting off, we are using the red dot as an optic because if you take the red dot off, the stock sight on the Stingray is absolutely horrific. Like, I don't like it. A lot of people might like it. A lot of people might not like it and feel the same way how I feel. But I feel like it's way too blocky. It disrupts too much of the peripherals around the weapon. So therefore, you really can't see the enemies as clearly as if you put a red dot onto the weapon. And also, it just looks a lot more sleeker with the red dot, you know, because cosmetic thing, you know, you always want to make your weapon look absolutely amazing. So, I did the red dot because, one, it looks cool, and two, the performance is a little bit better than just having the regular optic that, you know, the Stingray offers you. Rapid fire is very, you know, iffy because, one, you either like the fire rate, you like to sit back, you like to, you know, relax a little bit while using those two, you know, bursts each fire and or you can do a rapid fire where you can technically fire four bullets a little bit faster as in you know shoot your two bullets a lot faster making it four bullets um i just feel like the rapid fire definitely comes in handy when you're running around and trying to be like that call of duty player that always is a run and gun type so rapid fire is a huge huge must on this class and especially when we're talking about running around and trying to get as many kills as possible we also want to have quick draw on because quick draw you can easily pull up your weapon as fast as possible knock down the enemy and continue on your streak now finally we have the hybrid mags the hybrid mags adds an extra eight bullets so i believe you can have four extra shots to this weapon and also what the hybrid mag does is it actually makes your reload your gun a little bit faster and it also joins in with one of the perks that we have with this class as well so starting off with our perk one we have scavenger now scavenger is a must for all my classes when it comes to call of duty and just playing an absolute you know best performance and best peak um because when you're running around you are gonna use a lot of ammo and you're gonna use a lot of you know time missing sometimes and having that perk to replenish your ammo after you kill someone is so much more easier than running around trying to find a weapon and potentially dying and ruining your streak to pick up a weapon so it, it's kind of like you know you either want scavenger and or you want to have a challenge and try to pick up a weapon after you know you run out of ammo and this weapon actually does run out of ammo pretty fast so scavenger is definitely definitely a must we are going to do a perk to greed so therefore you are going to have to have you know two perks in your perk two slot but starting off we have gun ho gun ho is super super effective especially when we're running around and trying to get as many kills as possible because one you can fire your weapon while sprinting you can reload your weapon at maximum speed so you don't have to slow down you don't have to do anything just to reload you can simply just reload on the go and continue on your streak and finally when you're reloading and continuing on that massive gun streak that you guys want to have um dexterity definitely comes in handy because you're going to be able to slide and shoot you're going to be able to maintain your accuracy while you're jumping and shooting and or mantling and shooting it just all comes together as probably the best class for the s16 rate as the base version 
But if you guys, like I said, want to see a video based upon the impulse blast, like the operator mod, then let me know by leaving at least seven likes on this video because that'll show me that you guys want to see another best class setup for the S6 Stingray. And I'll go more in depth on why I chose those attachments for the operator mod setup. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video. This was very short. Hope you guys did enjoy the, the gameplay in the background. Hope you guys did enjoy the little commentary that I tried doing. Um, this is actually the first time I'm ever doing like a best class setup for Black Ops 4. So if this actually does well, I will post that new Impulse Blast, you know, best class setup. And then also it'll show me that you guys like the best class setup so I can continuously look through the patch notes, look what weapon is the best, play, the, play with the weapon, figure out what attachments are the best for that weapon and bring content for you guys so definitely definitely let me know by smashing that like button to show your support on this video and comment down below if you have the s6 stingray and or if you like it and or if you despise it now let me know in the comments down below i'd really like to know your thoughts and subscribe if you're new for more call of Duty content minecraft content and many more content on my channel for the future like i said if you guys like the video be sure to leave a like comment and or subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace